Hey, check out today's video for a quick tip on how to do a custom schedule for site-built cabinets. I like to set these two apart, showing that this cabinet schedule is the boxes that we're going to buy from our supplier, and these boxes are the ones that the crew is going to build on site. Follow along, let's have fun. So as I said, I'd like to have a different um, cabinet schedule for my site-built cabinets versus my uh, box cabinets that we purchase. Um, so I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. These cabinets, as are drawn in the model, are um, full cabinets, full height cabinets. Uh, and we're going to site build these five boxes. To do that, I'm going to select all of them, so I only have to do this once. Open them, uh, open the object, go into schedule, and I'm going to include in schedule as, and I'm not going to include them in the cabinet uh, object here, so I'm going to uncheck that box. I'm going to add a new custom category, site built, and that's all I need right there. Now, I'm going to shift V for Victor. I have no idea what that has to do with CAD detail management. There's my cabinet schedule. Uh, detail. I can do a custom schedule here and drop that in there. Now I'm going to double click on this custom schedule and set its specifications. Site build cabinet schedule and it is going to include the custom category site built. We're going to include these um, <clears throat> These columns, uh, it's kind of it's going to be unique here. So let's do. I'm going to uncheck limit to included categories. I'm going to include things like the same categories that are in my cabinet schedule. So I'm going to click on in the list and hit no, N for number in my. Uh, in my list, so uh, numbers there, labels there, quantities there, floors there, descriptions there. Uh, that's fantastic. So let's hit R for room name. Let's hit W for width. Let's hit D for depth, H for height. When I, when I click on the letters on my keyboard, it just jumps quickly through this list so I don't have to scroll and find it. Code, manufacturer, and comments. C, code, M, manufacturer, C again, CO if I want to do it quickly, comments, and description goes between height and code, so I'm gonna select description move down, there we go, display column headings, show color, I'm not going to do all that, it's not in the thing, and there's my schedule. The last thing I need to do is put um, the room name macro in this room name column if we want to do that. So I'm going to select these five again, open. I created a special room name uh, custom field. And we can do object specific macro room so that the room name shows up here. 
Now I might want to do instead of G, I'm going to set this uh, instead of G as my as my uh, prefix. I'm going to do SB for site built. So there's SB01, two, three. Lastly, I'm going to make this a capsule instead of a circle. And there's my site built cabinet schedule. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. This is Tim at Design Build Solutions. Sub like, subscribe, and uh, keep watching for more tips as they come along. Take care.